Over in Anderson County, the clerk says that he is expecting about a 40% voter turnout, and he is saying that is thanks in part to the drive through voting that they have in Anderson County. We go now to LEX 18's Jacqueline Nye, who continues our 2020 decision coverage. The county clerk says of the 18,800 voters, 4,200 people requested absentee ballots. The county worked on making it as easy as possible for people to cast their vote, so officials set up a drive through in addition to walk in voting. I mean, I think everybody has a preference, and under the circumstances right now, we have to kind of do that, so, uh, or at least offer it as an option. And um, our county has done a really good job with it, I feel like, and I think it gives everybody an option. There's no excuses why you can't get out to vote. The Anderson County clerk says of people who have come out today, the drive through was preferred three to one. The clerk says if they have to, the drive through will be in place in November and potentially in future elections in years to come. I feel like next year with being a no election year that the legislature will probably take up uh, some bills uh, and change the way we do voting and give flexibility in counties that want to have voting centers versus precinct by precinct. In Anderson County, Jacqueline Nye, Evening Edition.